So here's a quick recap of what you saw in part one. Sangeeta has an Instagram store that goes by Love Knots where she sells handmade scrunchies of various different fabrics ranging from cotton to satin to silk to organza, the whole shebang. And as you saw, these are painstakingly and very preciously handmade by Sangeeta at her sewing station as you can see right now. And while she has been operating all of this via Instagram, we came across this amazing opportunity in our society to set up a store at the flea market of our society carnival and it got us really excited. So we thought we'll set up shop and you saw the entire prep for that flea store in part one and now is the D-Day. Here's how it went. And it is D-Day and uh, Sangeeta, what is this that we are making? I don't know. What I'm making. But we, we, we moved from scrunchies to some art and craft. No, I'm making a scrunchie stand. Okay. So you're going to stack up scrunchies on this basically. Yes, hopefully. Well, the making looks interesting. So it's 1.30. We have our flea market in four and a half hours yeah. at six. Yes. Our scrunchies are ready. Our tags are ready. No, scrunchies are not ready. Scrunchies are not ready? No, I need to make a few more. Okay. Yeah. Are we excited? Yeah. We seem a little more stressed than excited. <laughs> no, girl. we'll see. Okay. So this is our table set up for the flea and as we started collecting everything a lot of things needed to be taken to the venue so there are QR codes, there are bowls, there are stands and it seems we are all set are we? Oh look at the lady with the scrunchies, love not scrunchies, show us your hair scrunchie, oh you are all set aren't you? And we are off to set up our stall at the carnival. Wow, those are a lot of scrunchies and this is only half of what we are carrying. We have to do a round two of coming back home and getting more, right? Yes. Okay. I am really not being able to shoot because I myself am carrying too many things. Yes. Okay. Honestly guys, I've done quite a few fleas after this one and one thing that I've learned in the process is that uh, how you present your stall is very important. So what the customer sees as soon as they come to your stall and what are the colors that you want to show, what are the different fabric sizes. Uh, so making sure that you create amazing vibe off your table is very important and that honestly is the most fun part of the flea as well. And even before we were done setting up with the stall, the scrunchies started selling like hot cakes. And I think what was really encouraging for Sangeeta was the fact that people just loved the variety in terms of sizes and materials. And here's me being the logistics guy. Thank you! And the flea had quite a lot of stores, so there were some stores which were selling food items, terracotta pots, a lot of saris, different dresses um, and also paintings, so it had quite a lot of variety.
How does it feel to be behind the counter rather than in the front of the counter as always? Love it. Love it. Are customers haggling with you? No. One person did, but no, they are not. Lovely. And we're not just salespeople at this carnival. We're also customers. We got this keema pav from one of the residents who's put up a stall here. Wait, this is the second plate. It was so lovely. It was so tasty that uh, we just wanted to have another plate of it. And though Akshay got a lot of yummy food, there was no time to eat because customers kept flowing in and we were very thankful for that. And look at Akshay being the perfect husband and getting me all the good stuff from the flea to enjoy. Here are some yummy candy floss. Have it. And this marks the end of the flea. We came with like 20 bags and were left with 5. So here's what we thought about the whole experience. <laughs> okay, what a beautiful, beautiful start to the weekend. Yes. We did good. Yeah. Do din ke isme prep me prep karna. Prep chodo. Uh, we came to know about it two days back. Thursday. Yeah. And today is Saturday. Yeah. Two days me we got our entire setup ready. We created four new variants of scrunchies which sold the best in fact. Yeah. And we did a good sale for a footfall of where there were only around 150, 200 people. Yeah. We sold nearly 55 scrunchies. Yes. And I think um, like crowd me bought sare boys the, like young boys. So they are not my demographic as such. Teen like, teenagers? Not teenagers only, because it was a carnival. So like you know, kids, lot of guys. So so I generally felt like every third person who was coming to the stall was buying, which is a very good number. Correct. Correct. So I think we we should keep this going. We should. So this was our first why should I say R? It's actually completely yours. No, but it, it, you are equally part I'm of I'm the this. operations and logistics guy. Which is important. You are the creator. <laughs> Love knots by Sangeeta. It's created by you on this sewing machine that we have over here. Yeah. And it started last year in Feb or March. We did a good, we had a good sale run right up till September after which we put it on pause for our trip to France and everything. And then of yeah. course, New Year preparation. And I think we've just, you've started the year with a bang. Yeah, let's keep this going. I think also because it's like a passion project. Whenever I am, uh, you know, just like at night I cannot sleep or when whenever I'm stressed or I just need to do something people go for a run I start like sewing scrunchies it's my passion project and if people love it so much for something that I enjoy doing then why not do it more absolutely and what was surprising was the price point was absolutely right I think because I think just one person found it a tad bit expensive other than that which is okay i think you'll always find people who will say your product is expensive mm. uh, but but that's okay i know that what i am providing and in fact lot of people who were buying uh, we were asking them questions like why would you buy something like this and uh, i think people love good fabric so when they are able to hold it and they can see that oh silk scrunchies for like uh, such good price and even satin like there are different qualities of satin so the kind of satin I'm using uh, some were actually surprising but it think I hey like things like that so I think all in all and no one bargained nobody bargained yeah. nobody bargained because again I think um, 
people understand that you know it's handmade and yeah. it's good quality and in fact we were also allowing people to try so you can try it on your hair and see and um, yeah yeah i think i think it was overall a lot of fun and i'm sure you guys would have seen it through this vlog uh we both had a lot of fun i think and that's most important yes. like not uh if you're doing something uh, like a passion project you need to enjoy it and have fun so. yeah and it was doubly enjoyable for me because i've seen you like uh, at it working on it like so hard through the last one year with your job uh you're in a much more senior role now much more impactful role and with that you're doing this pet project of yours i think you that's that's wonderful Thank cheers you. to that After this day we actually went on to do quite a number of fleas because we felt confident about them. Here is one that we did very close to our home and we set up a table and it was an amazing experience lot of customers lot of love knots going places and it was so much fun and i could not do all of this alone so uh, here is akshay my husband helping me with everything and my friend arun shubhra so big thank you to both of them and next uh we took love knots to this uh flea that was happening called called sunday soul sante and they are a big organization that do a lot of fleas in bangalore and this was their first time doing a flea in bombay and it was a great honor that you know not only did love knots uh participate in this flea but we got a full stall to ourselves and here you can see the enthusiasm with which we are setting up the stall and we got a lot of different displays and uh, we made the stall look beautiful as you can see we also made a addition to love knots can you all guess what it is uh, you can already see so those are the beautiful bows in different fabrics different sizes different colors that we added to our collection and people loved them and we sold a lot of bows and scrunchies and had a great time we're doing more fleas in case you want to know where these fleas are happening please follow us on our insta page So guys if you like this vlog and if you like Sangeeta's scrunchies do visit her Instagram store it goes by the name of love knots by Sangeeta and uh, leave, a, leave a link yes somewhere so that you guys can look at it yeah. and if you want to buy it you can buy uh, you can just dm me on Instagram or there is also my number so you can whatsapp me and we ship all over india so you can also order yours and uh, if there are any specific fabrics or uh, any size of scrunchies that you think uh, i should add to the collection then do let me know i am open to suggestions as well so yeah that's all i'll let you know the fabric i like you make one for yourself i'll gift it to you buy that what <laughs> <laughs> all right guys this was fun we'll see you in our next vlog toodles